you ready? If you want to film talking head videos and tutorials to establish yourself as an expert in your field, then this video is for you. I'll show you how to make such videos fast and effortlessly. For this, I'm going to use Riverside, who are kindly sponsoring this video. Check the description for the discount if you're that impatient, okay? And let's dive in. I'm going to break down the following video production. Cat is hidden again. Fiji, are you full? No, you're not yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to break down the following video production process. How to record yourself and the screen share. Second, how to edit your video in Riverside or to send it to your editor. And how to export your high quality video to blow up your channel. Let's say you already have an outline or a script and you want to show your viewers your screen in order to walk them through your processes. I did this in several of my videos. I showed my Miro mind map, my GABA presentation, and I always share my YouTube studio using the screen share. So once you decided on what actually you're gonna film, you need to set up your camera and it's very easy to do with Riverside. You can use your webcam and what you need to do is to just enter Riverside website and then you click record. Then you need to choose what your camera is. Is it a webcam or is it something else? Then you use your microphone phone and you use the speakers and then you just join the studio and you're ready and set up for recording. But what I recommend to do instead of using your web camera is to use your phone as a camera. You can do this in two ways. You can download Riverside from App Store. Once you enter Riverside app on your phone, you then just click one button that says record. And then right away you're entering your studio. And you can just flip your phone like this and then click join. And basically you can start recording just like that by clicking record. Super easy, just two clicks and now you're recording. Another way to do this is to use the QR code. Basically, when you're entering the room, you click record. You need to remember just one button here, okay? And here you choose connect mobile app in the drop-down list of cameras. And here it shows you the QR code. All you need to do is to go to the camera app in your phone and scan the QR code. And it's gonna transfer you to the recording room where again, you just need to click rec, record, and it's gonna start recording your video. You know what I like about this is that you don't need wires, don't need like these endless buttons and connections of your camera, of your microphone, all this connected to computer. Then you need a separate app to record your screen share. It's just easier. In this recording studio, you can just click screen share and it's gonna share your screen as to your microphone even if you film with your phone you can still use your directional microphone that's not too easy to connect to your phone you know but it's very easy to connect to your computer so basically you plug it into your computer you will automatically see this uh, in a drop down list when you're choosing your microphone for filming in Riverside. So basically you can use your phone, you can use your microphone connected to your computer and you share your screen. Another cool feature here is that you can use two camera angles. For example, you use your web camera as your main camera and you can also add your phone as the second camera for two camera angles. Two camera angles are a very easy way to make your video more engaging without any editing and any additional effort from your side. I was recently actually asked a question about passing your files to the video editor and it said like can you make video about how you organize and set videos to your editor it takes me forever to load them to drive i totally get that when you are recording with riverside it uploads your video to their servers right while you film in that's why it's not gonna take that long to upload your recordings to their website so right after you stop filming it might need some time to process it but it's way less than you would need with some separate storage. No need to reach for card readers to transfer files, wait for them to upload, then pack them in one folder, then archive that, then send it to your editor, wait for it to upload on the storage app, move things throughout your computer, or upload them to a video editor. It's just so much easier if you use Riverside. Let me show you my screen right now. Basically, you need to click three dots here, copy recording link, and it's gonna be copied so when you paste it you'll see all your recordings in one place so it's gonna be separately the screen share separately your high quality footage if you filmed on your iPhone it's likely that you have your 4k settings set up so Basically, you can have your 4K footage as well here and the voice recording separately. And you just can send this link to your editor and forget about it. So basically, 
your time for video production can really shrink into half an hour when you record, depending on the length of your video, of course, and you just send the link to your video editor. If you decide to edit, you can just click edit and start editing right away. This is a very beginner-friendly tool. It can make your videos neat and comprehensive with just a few clicks. You can add your photos, you can add background music, you can set different layouts. And what I really like is that you can edit your videos based on the tab. So basically you have a text here, right? And you can go through the text, you can scan this with your eyes and you can like realize that, oh, I don't need that sentence, I can just delete it. And you can select it and click delete. And right away, this chunk of your video is just cut out of the video. So you don't waste your time dragging things on a timeline and you can do this with text editing if it's more comfortable for you. Also, they have a really cool feature called AI Producer that has a variety of different tools that can make things even more easier for you. So for example, you can set pace, which is the feature that removes all the pauses and improves conversation flow. Basically, if you go blank while recording your video, for example, it happens to me all the time and you just stare at something and you're silent for like a few seconds. You don't need to cut every bit of this happening from your video. You can just click this button and it's gonna give you the range of how fast paced you want to make your video. So it has original, natural, balanced, fast and super fast. And you can apply this adjustment and it's gonna cut out all the pauses that you have in your video. Also in AI producer, you have smart scenes that automatically using AI identifies what's going on in the video and uses the scene that's more applicable for this particular part of your video. You can obviously choose how exactly you want this to look. For example, picture in picture, split screens, create full screen, and it's gonna create the scenes for me. Perfect. You can also apply the smooth speech feature that will remove filler words and unwanted sounds. Why presentations are important is because if you don't edit your videos, you'll find that you'll need to make your videos engaging in another way. Nice, nice. You can remove those things that make you sound not that trustworthy with just one click. I love this feature. Okay, here in the brand tab, you can choose uh, to set the background for your video. And I like having that because like it, with no effort, it adds like additional aesthetic touch to the video. So I like adding that. Okay, that's perfect. And then I can also make the round corners that would just look a little bit more sleek. You can add captions if you want. I recommend to add captions for your intro or and titles for like things for the chapters of your video to like separate one part of the video from another. For example, here I'd start talking about how presentations are important and here it would make total sense to add text somewhere here. Presentations, presentation. This could be a tongue twister. <laughs> nice, I like it. Okay, so then you can also add images. You can upload them from your computer to show whatever you forgot to include in your presentation or maybe to uh, illustrate your points while you're talking. You can add extra audio or a video. Yeah, so good. Besides that, you can add background music to your video with a few clicks to make it more engaging. You already have a library here. You can choose things from here or you can upload your music that you would like to add as a background music to this video. Super easy. Another feature I want to show you is magic clips. What it does is it takes your low effort video that you barely spend time on and it cuts it into small clips that you can use for short form platforms. It's gonna be right down here. You can just click magic clips or something or create clips. I don't remember. I already clicked it so I have a bunch of small clips ready for me to edit them, to finalize them and to post them on my social media. Let's check it together. It also creates captions for them so that you don't worry about it. Okay, let's watch this one. YouTube editing, like video editing is not those 20%. Actually, I like this video a lot. I may just export it as is. Maybe I could apply smooth speech to remove any ums and as. I really speak those a lot of time. So let me check. Percent of the success of the video is the idea. 40%. 
is thumbnail and title maybe i need to cut out this piece because it's unnecessary you can easily cut things out here i'm gonna cut it so it's gonna be just this part 40 percent is thumbnail and title nice i think i'm gonna just export it as is remove watermark video quality you can export up to 4k footage so you just click export go to export and you can see this video is exporting oh my edit is ready review preview and share huh can i share it right away let's see youtube editing like video editing is not those 20 percent that bring you 80% of the result. It's just, as you can see, the video is high quality. Really, I don't see anything blurry or pixelated or I don't see noises or stuff. It really gives a feeling of you filming a video on a good camera, of you putting an effort into this video creation, even though you didn't put that much effort in it. I think I can just upload it and share on Instagram. Oh my God, I can share it via mobile. It gives me this, what's that QR code? I can go to my phone and immediately see the video that I created right here. Or I can just export it here, download to my computer, or I can go to my river side on the phone. I can save it right here to my gallery. I think I'm happy with it, so I'm just gonna post. Done. I not only recorded a sponsored video, I also posted a reel to my Instagram. So that was a very efficient time. If you feel like Riverside could be a great tool for your YouTube workflow, use my link in the description to try Riverside for free. And use the code Victoria15 for 15% 15 off when purchasing. And if you want not only create your videos efficiently, but also increase the chances of your videos to grow your channel, you definitely need to watch my video on thumbnails next. It's gonna be right here. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.